All right, something interesting just happened in the bus. Go ahead and remove it. That'll do. Just fine, donkey. Ah, oh, this thing is heavy. Tiny little bolt right here. That's where this red wire goes. Slide them all in there. One, two, three. I'm gonna put the bolt. Disconnect this one here. I'm just gonna set this bolt aside so I don't lose it. And then lift this connection, separate. Lift that connection, separate. All right, should be good, let's go. So we're underneath the bus and this little machine right here this is the starter. I've disconnected the batteries. There's no power going in and on through here. And what we need to do is disconnect these guys right here. The power, I believe this is power negative. And then we come up here, disconnect all of these off of this connection. And then there's a smaller connection on the side. It's hard to reach, but there's a smaller red wire connection that is right right here on this back side behind it um this red one and then we'll come back here to the very back where it's being held in place and there's three bolts back here one two three and those bolts need to be undone So, do you see? It wasn't able to fully, like, uh, secure in it, and so that's why I had to hold this at the same time as I was moving it, because it wasn't fully connected, so. Ugh, my thumbs. Okay, so I'm installing the starter, trying to, and uh, this piece up here is hitting against the block, the engine itself, so it can't get a full connection right there. It can't close all the way. I can't bolt it down. So that's a bummer. The starter that was sent to me it was supposed to work with this vehicle. However, um, the top relay part is hitting the block and I can't get a full connection and bolt it down. So I'm gonna have to return it. So that sucks. So I'm gonna take out, I'm gonna remove this, this new one that is not gonna work. Finally got my starter rebuilt and sent back. So let's check it out. 
thank you to Romaine Electric for rebuilding it. Um, they have an incredible shop where you can pretty much send anything in if you have the core of a starter and they will rebuild it for you. So they sent it back in their Romaine Electric box, a whole bunch of packing in there. There it is. They cleaned it up too. Look at this. They cleaned it perfectly. Oh wow. gorgeous. When I set this in, it was absolutely just annihilated. And uh, it's actually heavier now for some reason. I wonder if they uh, hooked me up, you know, made it even better. So this starter um, isn't actually manufactured anymore. And uh, the only option that I had um, to get a starter that kind of resembled the one, <laughs> this one, was to get one that had a lower kilowatt um, capacity or to get this one rebuilt. And thank goodness I already had the core to send in to Romain Electric, rebuilt it, and I, <laughs> I think it's going to be like brand new. We'll see. We'll see how this goes. So I'm going to install this today. It's real simple. This back part here is the mounting. Three bolts that go in the back, and then we got the positive and negative here as well. So I'm gonna get some gloves, and I'm gonna get my tools, and get on underneath the bus. So, let's go. What you're gonna need is a whole bunch of tools here. Um, need different fittings and whatnot, so. Shout out to my friend, uh, Jacob. He let me borrow this. Um, I'm, I need several gloves, because I really, I'm a clean freak. I would like it to be clean, a cloth to uh, wipe up any messes. I like to use this stuff, um, electrical cleaner, just to make sure that the connections are spiffy before connecting on the starter. And the starter, that's it. My batteries are already disconnected. Um, so there's no electrical going in. That is essential. You don't want to shock yourself or mess with any of the, uh, you know, electrical stuff. That'll do just fine, donkey. All right, that's it. So <clears throat> my bolts are. I'm using Husky, Husky tools here. This was in. This one is a 16. Um, and this one's longer than the other ones. So yeah, I'm gonna use that. And. We are going to connect it onto our handy dandy uh, tool here. Just a girl. <laughs> Just a girl. Hi. Oh. <laughs> right in the mouth. So these starters are pretty heavy. And this one's actually pretty light compared to the new ones. Um, but they are heavy. So. You gotta kind of maneuver them in here. And you know, there's all these different okay connections. You gotta get them around. Things, put it in place. All right, fits on there snug. Grab these bolts. You gotta hold it in place until you uh, get a firm grab on these bolts. Ah, this thing is heavy. Come on, please. <laughs> this is like the most brutal part. It's ridiculous because it's the most simple part, but it's just heavy, you know? It's just heavy. Alright, come on. Come on. Arms are not that strong, dude. Arms are not that strong. This thing is not wanting to stay. Okay. Come on. Come on. First, 
of all. Let's move that up. Should be simple, right? Oh. Yes. Okay, I think I got it. All right. Oh. Here's my tool. So here's the starter and I just barely put the top bolts in and I'm tightening the top one down and uh, I'm going to install these bottom two bolts and tighten them in and then fully like rank it down once they're all in place. It's bottom mount, metal mount that's going to secure these bottom wires to the, to the bus and that goes in between the bolts and the starter. This holds all of these wires up so they're not just flying. Alright, so I'm just going to hand tighten that one and then install this left one. Hand tighten it and then we're going to use the, uh, the wrench to really get in there. Okay, so there's a little red wire that's connected here, and this actually goes to a tiny little bolt right here. That's where this red wire goes, and then all these other larger ones are gonna go up here. So we're just gonna slide them all on there. Bada bing, bada boom. Bada bing, bada boom. And then this big wire here goes there as well. Go on and slide that on. I'm just gonna double check for any hanging wires <laughs> just in case. I know there's three on the bottom here. One, two, three wires that go on this bottom connection. So I'm just gonna check, make sure we don't have any extras. Nope, I think we're good. Then we're going to come down here, grab our washer, and our, our bolts. One, two, three. We're going to put the bolt and wash back on. These are cool, by the way. Look at this. The washer is like attached to it. It doesn't detach. That's nice. I like that. <laughs> Makes it a little, a little easier, you know, a little bit more user friendly. Hand tighten them as much as possible. Should be on. All right, we'll tighten this one. Let's go over to the batteries and hook them up and then we'll try to give it a start. Okay, so you got to be careful on this part. If it was wired in wrong, you will see sparks. If it was wired in correctly, you won't see sparks. Okay. Mm. Yep. Get a start. <laughs> better. That was much better. It starts just fine. Thank you, Remain Electric. I appreciate you guys. I love you. I used to work with them in the warehouse. Hi. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Um, and yeah, we're gonna get going. <laughs> 